Yannick Sinner has shattered records and brought a new era to men's tennis. How did he become world number one? And what does this mean for the sport? Stay tuned to find out. In this video, we'll explore three big questions. How did Yannick Sinner rise to world number one? What role did his coaches play in his journey? And is this the end of the big three's dominance in tennis? Let's dive in. Yannick Sinner's rise to the top seemed inevitable. His journey to world number one has been marked by hard work, excellent coaching, and a perfect sense of timing. His rise is a clear sign of a change in men's tennis. With Novak Djokovic pulling out of the French Open due to a knee injury, Sinner officially becomes the first Italian man and the 29th man overall to reach the top of the ATP rankings since they started in 1973. Let's look back at the milestones that led Sinner to this incredible achievement. In 2023, after losing in the fourth round of the US Open, Sinner won titles in Beijing and Vienna. He reached the finals of the ATP finals in Turin and led Italy to Davis Cup glory. This momentum carried into 2024, with Sinner winning the Australian Open in January, followed by victories in Rotterdam and Miami, losing just one set in the latter. He also reached the semifinals in Monte Carlo, the quarterfinals in Madrid, and the semifinals at Roland Garros. Now let's talk about what it means for Italian tennis. Sinner is now the highest ranked Italian man in history and the first from his country to sit at the top of the ATP rankings. While Italian players like Adriano Panada, Francesca Schiavone, and Flavia Panetta have won Grand Slam singles titles, none of them came close to being number one. Sinner now stands above them all, marking a significant moment for Italian tennis. It means a lot, but I think it's great for Italy, Sinner said. We are a great country with great coaches and players, and we can see how important this moment is. Sinner's rise also highlights the contributions of his team. The addition of Darren Cahill to Sinner's team in June 2022 was a game changer. Cahill, a former top player and an even better coach, fit perfectly with Sinner's other coach, Simone Bagnazzi. Under Cahill's guidance, Sinner improved his consistency, mental toughness, and strategic play. Cahill's analytical approach, combined with Bagnazzi's complementary coaching style, created a powerful team dynamic. He had great achievements with different players, said Sinner, who often emphasizes how much he values Cahill as a person as well as a coach. Now let's consider the broader impact on tennis. This milestone marks the end of an era dominated by the big three, Djokovic, Federer, and Nadal. These three players have been at the forefront of men's tennis for nearly two decades, winning most of the major tournaments and holding on to the top rankings. Except for Andy Murray, who was number one in 2016 for 41 weeks, and briefly Carlos Alcaraz and Daniil Medvedev, no one else has broken their hold on the top spot since Federer first became world number one in February 2004. Sinner's achievement shows that a new generation of players is ready to take over. Let's delve into Sinner's mindset and how it helped him succeed. Sinner has always shown a relentless drive to improve. When he won the Australian Open in January, his first words in the press conference were about the future. He stressed the need to get better, work harder, and keep improving. This mindset is what champions are made of. Sinner wasn't focused on celebrating. He was already thinking about how to stay at the top. Let's explore how Sinner handled setbacks and used them to grow. Sinner has learned a lot from his losses. He emphasized the importance of accepting and learning from mistakes, especially regarding his body language and mindset. After his loss to Sasha Zverev at the US Open, 
he had a breakthrough moment, realizing what he needed to improve. Surrounded by honest people who tell him the truth, Sinner has a support system that keeps him grounded and focused. This honesty has been crucial in his development as a player. Let's talk about Sinner's journey and achievements in more detail. Sinner's journey has been filled with hard work and significant achievements. After his initial successes, he continued to win titles and improve his game. His victory in Miami, where he lost just one set, showcased his dominance and consistency. Sinner's ability to win consistently at different tournaments and surfaces highlights his versatility and adaptability. Key traits for a world number one player. Let's look into the technical aspects of Sinner's game that set him apart. Sinner's game is characterized by his powerful baseline play, excellent footwork, and mental toughness. His ability to stay calm under pressure and make smart decisions during matches has been a significant factor in his rise. These technical skills, combined with his physical fitness and strategic thinking, make Sinner a formidable opponent on the court. Now let's address the dominance of the Big Three and how Sinner fits into this new era. Arguably, Sinner was fortunate to emerge during a transition period in men's tennis. With Federer retired, Nadal nearing the end of his career, and Djokovic dealing with injuries, the door was open for new talent. However, it takes more than just timing to reach the top. Sinner's talent, hard work, and dedication have been crucial in his success. He has earned his place as world number one. Let's discuss Sinner's future and what it holds for him and the tennis world. Looking ahead, Sinner has a great chance to dominate the sport. With his strong team and the support of coaches like Cahill and Bagnazzi, he is well prepared to stay at the top. Sinner's rise to number one is not just a personal achievement, but a sign of a new era in tennis. He represents the future of the sport, and fans can look forward to many exciting matches and tournaments. This marks the beginning of a new era in men's tennis, with Sinner leading the charge. While Carlos Alcaraz could rival him for Grand Slam titles in the coming years, Sinner has a strong team to guide him. In Bagnazzi and Cahill, he has wise heads who are like family, ensuring he stays on the right path. Sinner's story is one of hard work, excellent coaching, and seizing the moment. As we witness the dawn of a new era in tennis, Sinner's rise to world number one is just the beginning. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Tennis Tenacity. For more tennis updates, stay tuned for more exciting content.